did take the battery out again when you're out when you're working with electronics you always want to make sure the you know there's not a possibility of a charge still running through it so you can short things out so got that out just by clicking the little button in the back um, on the front here there's a couple of uh, little screws that have to come out they are covered by um, some little black basically they're stickers is all they are okay so you have to find them there's one on either side I've already taken the one off this side, so the screw's there. And uh, this one over here, I'm just using this little screwdriver to kind of pop it out. I think I need a little longer screwdriver, it might make it easier, but. And I'm hoping I can do this without ruining the whole thing. There it is, it's falling out. Just got to get it. There we go. So it came off there. It's just, it literally just sticks on there. Okay. There's, okay, so there's, there's the two screws on the other side. I already took this one out here. It just a um, little bit odd angle to get out, but again, my, my big fat screwdriver, probably not the best one, but this is just a regular Phillips small end, like that. It's caught on the end of my screwdriver. And I'm putting it on a little tissue so that I can keep track of it. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is I have to get the cover of the screen around the edge off and there's just kind of a crack. I'm going to switch to a little flat edge here and be careful because you don't scratch things a lot but if you can just get the, the blade in there and get a grip. One pop, fingers. little pop here be careful I think it's probably a good idea I saw somebody else do this and I think it's a good idea to use your hands as opposed to trying to use some tool I can kind of get a better feel for when it's getting too much There we go. As you can see, it kind of comes up as a cover for the hinge here. That's basically what it looks like. A lot of little catches all the way around the side, and hopefully those will just pop right on when we when we're done. Okay. There's a couple of screws down here that's got to come off, and again, a little skinny screwdriver. I like I just like my my exchangeable. When I've gone back to my, my Phillips. A couple of screws, two on each side, one there. I'm glad this is a little bit magnetic so it holds on to them. Another one there. screwdriver is failing me now, collapsing. But they all look about the same size, so. There we go. All right. And then there's a couple up here at the top. One up here. Another on 
this corner. Okay, as at the top here, you're going to find there's a little metal plate and it's it's hooked on actually to as you pull this apart it's hooked on to the the um, actually the plastic back and that's got to come off there and again it's it's essentially attached with a stuck on is what it is Okay, it took me a second to figure this out too. There's a, so there's actually a, it's actually an adhesive on here as well. It's a little sticky here, and this was stuck onto the actual screen. So as I pull it off, this is what you're gonna, you're gonna see down in here. All right, now, this is your your 40 pin attachment. That's, I guess, pretty standard. It's, it's basically a, you know, a mesh. Okay, um, this one's got some. Uh, literally some tape on it. It's going to be some heavy duty tape that's kind of protective and also keeps it there. This has got to come off. Okay. And there's uh, some circuitry below that. This is why we take the battery out so that in case we accidentally there we go. have some electricity in there, it doesn't short the whole thing out. And you'll see as I pull this tape off, um, the connector actually comes apart. And of course, probably gonna be a little tricky to get it back in there, but that's you know, that's what you got to do. So all this stuff is just literally attached with adhesive. Okay, and right here where it says "Don't touch," um, well, we kind of have to touch because this is going to come off. Okay, so there's after that, I just laid this on the side here, and there are three screws on each side that have got to come off. These are a little different little black ones. Set them over the side a little bit. Okay, make a different size. this over very carefully not to worry about the screen but wires and stuff connecting it don't want to ding them up So once you get it kind of loose in the frame, there was actually some adhesive, I didn't get this, but it's stuck on the bottom. I thought it was something else, but it literally was just adhesive, some tape stuck to the bottom, and then it just came right out like that. So that's the old, old laptop screen. Okay. Had a big crack across here. All right. So that's recyclable. Okay, so now I've got the new new screen. Um, I'm going to lay it kind of face down. Um, you can see just like before, there's the there's the pins. We've got to get those lined up here. This adhesive, I'm hoping I haven't gummed it up too much, or at least to put oily all so it'll stick again. That's my goal, and that's got to slide in there. And it's pretty important because if it doesn't go in well, you, of course your screen won't work very well. I'm a bit of a pain with this adhesive, which is pretty, pretty nasty adhesive. Uh, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna lay this adhesive down, screws back in, and that hopefully is what's gonna hold it for the time being, anyway. Disconnected anything yet? I don't think so. 
All right, so I'm going back to my little black screws. Probably be easier to set this on my side on the side right now because I'm going to put these tighten down a little bit here. Okay, I'm going to skip the middle one for now because what I really want to do the middle ones I should say because there's four of them there on each side. I'm just going to just want to anchor this for now. I want to get it anchored on both sides. So it's not wiggling around in my hand because right now I'm having a hard time keeping everything steady. I get the thread. And I'm going to go back over to the other side here. Kind of line that up and set it on its side. Okay. See if I can line up some of those screws again. Grab one of my little black ones come on I'm losing them in my gray carpet which is not good Okay, so now it's, it's pretty anchored. I don't have to hold on to it too tight anymore. I'm going to go back and uh, put another screw on each side. What's odd about this is I noticed there's actually a place for four screws, but I only had, there was only three in it. If somebody got lazy or something, putting it together, but I suspect the fourth one will just help it stay solid. I'm not too worried about it. There we go. Efficient. Also, it's an advertisement for home hardware, Canada, or you can get with these little things, and I love it. Anyway, a little magnetic. So I've got that back in. All right. Now, as I showed before, there's some adhesive stuff in here, and I'm not going to worry too much about it. Um, now, we've got this little plate up here. It needs to go back in. Um, It is, again, they just put it on with some adhesive. So I'm just gonna push on it and make sure it's nice and nice and snug. There was some adhesive on this other side. So I'm gonna kind of push that um, little ribbon against there. There's always a little piece of black tape. I think it's supposed to, you're supposed to, supposed to be able to grab onto that and kind of pull, pull these adhesives off. But anyway, I'm gonna tuck that down in so it doesn't stick out. Not that it'll cause a problem, it just looks funny. And then kind of put it in place. Now again, we've got these four screws at the corners that have got to go back in. Yeah, you got to watch me drop things. Okay, this is again where the um, this is where this is where the uh, magnetic screwdriver again comes in handy. On catch. Gotta make sure this is all lined up. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna be a little adventurous here. I'm not gonna put the the uh, plastic cover back on because 
I am a pessimist and I'm always worried about those little teeny cords all, all sticking in there. So I'm going to open it back up. We're going to see what happens here. Here goes power. Mini that is the screen, and I got a couple screws to put back in, and, uh, and then we I feel a little more comfortable that everything's really is working. Okay, Windows came up all right. I'm just gonna stick the cover back on here, um, and I kind of expect it's gonna sound kind of ugly because things are gonna go pop and crack. I'm supposed to. I'm just going to work the way one image around. Making sure everything's going on well. Got these um, little hinge covers down here. I'm going to make sure they're on there too. Okay. Raise it from the back. Push on it because. Oh, there we go. One more time around. Okay, and then remember we've got these other last two screws um, to put in at the corners. And then we put the little stickers on. Okay, and we got these little sticky things to get on. Okay, so the little squares there, you just got to stick them on there. My fingers are too big, so they just fell. But again, it's just a matter of pushing them back on. Um, and a big thanks to, again, to laptopscreen.com. Um, for putting up these videos and uh, providing a good product very quickly. Good luck!